So a Maryland man has been sentenced to one year in jail after he hosted two parties against the governor's gathering orders. The individual was convicted of two counts of failure to comply with an emergency order, according to a statement from the Charles County State's Attorney's Office. Officers found about 50 people, give or take, at his home and told the individual that his party violated the current rules. So he allegedly argued with the officers, but then he eventually agreed to disband his party. They responded again to his home with another report of a party of more than 50 people. The officers told the individual to disband the party, but again, he was argumentative, claiming that he and his guests had the right to congregate. This fool allegedly told people, his guests, to stay in defiance of governor, uh, the governor's orders. He's in jail for a year. So once he's uh, released from jail, he will be on unsupervised probation for three years. Marsha, what is your take on this individual? I say let him have his parties. Really? And listen, listen. I'm not okay. done. And let all his friends come over, let them all get COVID, and then we're done with it. If you're that dumb, then you get what you get. <laughs> okay. Okay. Look at that. We got the thumbs up from the rest of the crew. I dig that. Did Let's... you see the comments under that uh, a post about him going to jail? Mm -mm. Please oh, share it losing their mind they were like oh my god we're violating his civil rights blah 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 and i'm like yes yeah, so well everybody gets covid and then take it to other people then mm -hmm. we're back when we started maryland i think we're l less than two percent or around two percent i feel as though for that one year he's gonna be partying with bubba every damn night man mm -hmm. so all that party he wanted to do they're gonna be partying with him behind bars man that this to me is just a plain old blatant disrespect of the law man they told you not to do it, and you decide not to do it. Mm -hmm. He lucky it ended this way. They should have just got a SWAT team up in there and just raided his house like a crack house, man. <laughs> Cause I, I mean, come on, bro. He doesn't. I mean, it's a lot of people out here. They don't believe that they can that they can transmit or spread this disease, man. They don't believe they can do that, man. Mm -hmm. You got cats telling you, I don't have to wear a mask. It's my civic duty. I'm like. Like who the who the fuck you think you are? <laughs> I mean, it's an <laughs> epidemic going on around this country, and you refuse to wear a mask because all of a sudden now you patriotic. You wasn't patriotic last year. You mm -hmm. wasn't patriotic three hours ago. All of a sudden now we patriotic now. Mm -hmm. So I mean, you know, it's in no it's sense, in but, season. It's in season. So yeah. I mean, I, I feel as though man imprisonment to me. If you want to imprison him, hit his ass up with some fines too, man. Go along with that. Hit him with a nice sweet package. Because imprisonment, man, he, he's still gonna have what he come. He's still gonna have what he already has when he gets out. Hit him with his pockets, there. Mm -hmm. Take out his pockets, man. He won't be doing that no more. Uh, this guy's an absolute fool. Mm. Um, there was a lady that came into the post office. Uh, this was a few weeks ago, actually. Mm -hmm. She comes in the post office. She just decides she's not gonna wear a mask ever again, right? Okay. Mind you, ten other people in the building. Everybody's wearing a mask. Well. What's going on here? It's not until the supervisor has to come out from the back and say, listen, you need a mask or you got to go. Mm. One of the two. Well, now she comes in with her mask on. But, you know, come on. It's a mask. Put it on for five minutes. Handle your business going back out. It's not that big a deal. You know, back to your guy with this party. Yeah, he, he, he's an ass. Okay? He, he, needs, he needs to go somewhere and sit down for a little while. Because <laughs> everybody goes to that party, gets COVID. They all go to home and work and infect everybody else. And for what? Let's not even uh, forget that the flu season's coming. Now, you're trying to have a party mm -hmm. with flu season on the way, and, and now talks about maybe the, the COVID is mutating to adapt itself. So that, that's kind of scary. I, I'm, not, I'm not Notre Dame, but I'm going to make my prediction. You're close to it. Right now, we had, we had 200,000 right now, I'm correct? Yes, sir. I think, we, I think we're going to hit a million by February. <sighs> That's a big number. I think wow. that's the reason why I'm number. saying that, man. Motherfuckers are going back into their old ways, man. And GPS just said a woman came in the post office, a federal establishment with mm -hmm. no fucking mask on. Mm -hmm. And on the door, it says you have to wear a mask. Mm -hmm. But she, every, every one, one of every place, I, the, the mask is right up on the door, man. That's mm -hmm. telling me that you just don't give a damn. You just, you're, you're like, hey, I'm going to be me. And Corona doesn't exist because it's something made up by the by the government. Mm -hmm. Fake news. Let this be advice to other people that are out there that are thinking about doing something stupid like this. And just wait. 
you know, I mean, are you really in a rush? I know everybody has cabin fever and everything like that, but it's not worth risking your life or anybody else's life. You know, I'm trying to have fun. You know, fuck COVID. This is my birthday, goddammit. I'm not trying to catch nothing. And even if I did, I'm still going to party. But by myself and playing it safe. Simple Plus, it ain't like you can, it's not like you can go out, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, like yeah, that's true. You can't do party. that. You know, I'm going to have little cutouts of people here and everything and have a little party and stuff like that. <laughs> Just move them around. Did you get my... Shit. Did you get my cutout I sent you, man? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's in the mail. I heard. You know, I got the same. I got the, I got your gift too. I heard it was the same thing as last year, just in a bigger box. <laughs> what gift was that, man? Yeah, empty. <laughs> nothing. 